your book, Vessels of Fire and Glory, uh, is powerful. Yes. Why do you believe the book is more relevant now since its release? When I first wrote Vessels of Fire and Glory, we were, we were assuming a lot of things were going to happen. That went against the grain because Vessels of Fire and Glory speaks of this. God is pulling to himself an elite group of people that want more, that believe God can use them, that believe they're on earth for more than just to survive. And it's taken from one verse in 2 Timothy 2.20, where it says, in a great house, they're not only vessels of honor, but vessels of dishonor. Everyone watching knows Christians that are lukewarm. They're not ready. They don't want it. I describe the church as made up of turkeys and eagles. And those eagles know they don't belong in the turkey yard. No, they can't go to a dead church. No, they can't stand the idea that we're supposed to be nice, smile, and capitulate to the expanding darkness. Jesus said the kingdom suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Every Christian hero that we have, and my great one, who was a dear friend of Jim Baker, was Billy Graham. My model was Billy Graham, who stood against communism, who stood against liberalism, he stood against the new morality. I remember when he said the new morality is nothing but the old immorality. We need to understand that the people God will use today will look radical to almost everyone except the lost. The lost get it. When they see the lame walk, the blind see, and the deaf hear, when they see compassion expressed, they run to it. I know because I'm watching it right now in California. But I want to compel people that this book is a manual to help you shake off any doubt that God can use you in the last days. It will speak to. One section talks about modern crimes against the Holy Spirit and the contaminated crowd, meaning that Christians are running after entertainment. But that's not you. That's not your heart. That's not what you want. <laughs> You leave those settings and, and your heart says, this isn't it. This isn't real. I need more. I need something deep. I need an anointing. Miracles are not just behind the pulpit. They're in everyday life. And that's when you become a vessel of fire and glory.